Hello there guys, how are you? Today we are going to talk about an app. Now, you are wondering, okay, we are talking about an app. What is that that you have on the screen? So, this is called an Apple Remote. It's an old generation Apple Remote. It was used at the time to control the volume and skip tracks on old generations iMacs and MacBook Pros that had an infrared port. Nowadays, we don't have that, okay? So, what I found is an app that will allow you to control the volume of your Mac, okay? An iMac, a MacBook Pro, or even a Mac Pro, okay? This app is only to control volumes. On the, the other series, I will tell you, tell you about an app that, con that can, con can control sorry, lots of new features. But for this, it's very useful if you are on a different room and you want to control the volume of Spotify that you are listening to your Mac, a podcast that you are listening, something like that. Okay, let's go ahead to the screencast and I will show you the app. Very well, here we have our screencast. Here is my iPhone connected wireless uh, in, in order to show you. The app that I was talking about is this, B mode. Let's go ahead, let's click it. It's not connected, okay, but let's connect it. You have here, of course, some advertising, some ads, because it's a free application. And let's connect it. It is connected here, and you can go ahead and messing with my phone now, my iPhone, and I'm increasing or decreasing the volume. The volume. If I go ahead, you, you cannot see on the screen, but if I go to my keyboard, now you can see that I'm increasing the volume and you can see also on the app that I'm increasing. Now, let's do some demonstration. This is my channel. Let's click here on a video. Let's make a pause and uh, Let's put here. This is a video that I made a few days, uh, two days ago, I believe, and it's how to make a fresh install of macOS Sierra uh, Golden Master uh, today. So you can go ahead and check it if you are interested. But uh, let's go ahead and put this playing and let's hope this microphone picks the increase of the sound. I'll go ahead and mess with the phone. Final release version not yet uh, available or released to to the community but for the developers and also for the public as you can see uh, you of course the, I, I hope the microphone pick up the increase of the sound now I'll go to the keyboard and even if you are not you can you can see here go to the site let's go ahead okay to the Apple beta software program okay so let's stop this this uh, this video and let's go ahead to the to the website of the of this app i can go ahead and quit also the phone and now you have this website i will leave the link in the description you have here you can download directly from the App Store the application to your phone. It's free, as you can see. Okay, so it's free. And if you go ahead here, there are lots and lots of things. The only thing that is free is for, is for you to control the volume. So what is the advantage is if you are on the different room, um, not on your office where your Mac is, you can go and you are listening from, for example, Spotify or a podcast or a YouTube video, whatever, on another room uh, and listen, listening to some music on YouTube. You can go ahead and control this from with your iPhone from that other room. OK, you don't have to come to your to your to your directly to your Mac and decrease or increase the volume. Now, if you want more 
add-ons to this app you can go ahead and you can buy there are lots and lots of things that you can buy here but for me because i have other applications that can do uh, other things and that will be on other videos that i will make uh, for me the the increase and decrease the volume when i'm not directly in front of my computer is very useful so download the application and after you download the application to your to your phone what you have to do is go to the plugin okay and you have of course the windows plugin if you have an iphone and the windows machine you can also do this on the windows machine you go ahead and click the mac plugin and here it is and go ahead and uh, drag it to an application folder and it will be right on your menu dock okay it is here open at login for me if you want so guys this is uh, the app that I have to show you today if you are interested in more applications that are useful uh, on a daily basis um, uh, put a like on this video and if you are not subscribed subscribe to the, ch the to this channel because I have more apps useful apps for you to use on your iPhone or on your Mac or on both so thank you once again for watching and I, I will see you the next time bye bye